Glaciers are a fascinating and dynamic system that change on human time scales. And they're of course really important right now because we're concerned about sea level rise and how that might impact communities. I'm Elizabeth Case. I'm a PhD student at Columbia University studying glaciers. Glaciologist is somebody who studies uh, glaciers and ice sheets. My name's Johnny Kingslake. I'm an assistant professor at Columbia University. We're most interested in how ice sheets change in their size, how, how ice uh, flows and how that impacts the rest of the Earth. So our work here is specifically looking at um, the dynamics of ice sheets. And understanding ice dynamics and the dynamics of these glaciers um, will help us better predict how our world might change in the coming centuries. All right, so ice sheets are so large, they're such large reservoirs of fresh water that when they change in size, they can have a significant effect on the global oceans. For example, at the end of the last ice age, sea levels were 135 meters lower than they are today because the ice sheets were much, much larger. At the moment, ice sheets are slowly losing mass and the sea level is going up globally. Concern is amongst glaciologists and earth scientists that that could continue into the future and accelerate. We've been involved with work using ice penetrating radar to understand how the ice has flowed in the past and how it's flowing today. Even though in our day-to-day -day lives, ice seems like this hard, solid thing, when you put a lot of it in one place, thousands of feet of it, uh, it actually starts to flow under its own weight, moving maybe like a very slow river. Recently, we've been developing this radar technique to measure the deformation of the ice throughout its thickness from the surface down through hundreds of meters to, to its base. And most recently we've been applying that technique to the near surface part of the ice sheet where snow is falling and it's gradually being compacted into ice. The hope is our new radar technique will be able to measure this compaction um, much more easily than has been possible in the past and improve our understanding of that process. Our work is part of a broader effort at Lamont to understand these polar regions. We use satellite imagery, uh, we use fieldwork, and we use computer models to try to understand these systems and how they're changing.